Okay, welcome to Mon Hustlers. We're on show number seven. So today we got a special guest. Um, <clears throat> he comes out of Wisconsin, Wausau, I believe. <laughs> so, yes, I am. Uh, so today uh, <clears throat> uh, he's been identified as a Mon Hustler, making money. Uh, so we're going to ask him, uh, like what well, every guest we have on the show, how do you make money? <clears throat> and and we're gonna talk about money. So uh, we talk about money and how do you make money? So we got a special guest here that actually makes money. That's making crazy money right now. So <clears throat> uh, those of you guys who join, appreciate it. Uh, if you got any questions, comment below so we can uh, we can probably get him to answer. So uh, there's three things we we talk about the show. What what is your home name? What do you do? And how do you make money doing what you do? So today we're gonna welcome. Uh, Tong Sen, right? Yes, Tong Sen. Okay, Tong Sen, you have to come back home, yeah? I'm going to come back home, and I'm going to come back home, and I'm going to come back home. Okay, and Sen, actually? Sen Lau. Okay, awesome, awesome. So we're going to jump right into it, guys. There's three viewers, you know, you guys have the questions, go ahead and prompt or type. Your questions below. Uh, share out the link if you can. Uh, let's 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 talk about money. So, uh, Tong Sung, uh, we brought you here to talk about what you did and how. I mean, we, we already talked about how you took one hundred dollars. We have ipod a lot, right? And multiply that to ipod a lot. Beat a Oh, third week of December, possibly. Uh huh. Uh, ipa. Wow. So, doing what? Yeah. How do you do it? Basically, just writing the market, or, or basically, or options. Yeah, Well, what is it? Options. options. Trading options. Okay. So, the the view and the eligible the options. Shachi, can can you explain? Uh, Unji, and your options, Shachi. The option can be more than only stocks. Here, there's a many hundred thousand options. The Zhongguliya, more billion. The guy who are insurance cover, guy who chain, all of them. The guy who chain, who can get the chain shin zhao, the guy who chain bo, the guy who file, who claim, the guy who take new, total cut. No, more than only that. The options, the guy who option, uh, to eat to stock, the guy eat to. ETF, electronic trade fund. Yeah, the Gawa Hanje, the Yawa to find it to start the Ninja to Carnage car, Tony, the Yaha to go up pong, it to find it to start the pong, Motor Holland, Chicago, Tony, the Yaha. Basically, the good job was stock market in the TC this year. Chia, you are to start here, you have option to start. Got it. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> so, uh, the more, the, the more I pick questions, like this, uh, to, uh, at there. So, to, uh, to go prompt, how show now, and then, there, how did you get started in this? <laughs> uh, well, the more than that, yeah, get started. This is my job to Ken, like, uh, basically, more open it to brokerage account. A try point near to how the, uh, so uh, get started with that. Uh, like for instance, um, oh, and and sorry, uh, which is though, and which is though, which is though, um, introduce Zong Tenem, right? So, <laughs> yes, go ahead. we want to talk about the money right away, right? So, Zong, yeah. Zong, Zong, yeah, it do, uh, yes, that's a, but also, go pause, you know, that you know, Zong, you have got to mentor, yeah, but yeah, right. Oh yeah, Zhang Tie. Well, his whole cohort is my. They, they, they are my mentors. Okay. And I really respect people like Zhang and his cohort. Okay. So uh, Zhang, uh, he's, he's out of Florida, also uh, a good friend of mine, also. And uh, the, the, he's I think Zhang, right? You set up a, a a a stock trading group. Is that right? Yeah. We uh, well earlier this year we we started the challenge. Um, if you guys uh, want to know the group, we're Hmong Investors Community. 
So if you guys want to join that, you guys, uh, I guess Chai can uh, put the link in there. Yeah, I'll, like, I'll put the link. Yep. But uh, we started a challenge, $100 to 100K as, um, as, as kind of a exercise in risk management. We didn't actually believe that uh, anybody can do that in this time frame that we we set out, but it, it gave us a goal to go through. So um, someone was one of the ones that uh, came in and joined uh, the challenge as well. And so, uh, I mean, he did pretty well, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> so, yeah. so I think what happened was you said that um, uh, he joined and then that's what happened as far as he started it and then that's how he blew his money to this crazy amount in five weeks <laughs> right? well, it is, uh, i think it, it took him a long a while right i mean it, basically majority of it was in the five weeks uh five six weeks from uh i guess the end of uh, october to to yeah. uh december the first of november to the third week of december so November two, and that's how it, it it started. Go crazy! It was yeah. like you started you started the group, and then that's well. When did you start the group? Uh, it was earlier this year. Um, early two thousand eighteen. It was I think the end of March. Yeah. Okay. Like March twenty something. Okay, so they got trade 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 that day wasn't it wasn't working right it wasn't no actually the first uh, three four weeks i was actually down yeah. and then uh, and then what do they tell you to chisa what that is like with the idea you know you call our expectation there you call learning curve they uh there are two completely different things you can't expect that you will in the the shima the how put auto color the you are here to very novice lead to next year or enter no way to invest the trader trade with uh go make a lot of mistakes along the way and i learned a lot along the way too เอ่อมุซาโรทาวาลูจัวลินจาชูปุญญาจิรองละรองเทละเปตูซิทาซาคาลาโรเวกุจโปเทลาโรเฮดาชีนะเยกุนูไลเจเลเตโอ uh, study Minji, Haminji, Taluka, Lee, Kaolin, Dai, you know what? Look, Lee, you know, Taluka, we know that you did all around it, you put it out, you put it out, okay? Luckily, Taulu, Kaolin, gets it in the toy, it's here, get here, and then so, uh, let me do options. A Yapong Tala, that's okay. Um, good pong, I think, good pong, it's young, the young, let's say, okay. Uh, from there, it just uh, skyrocketed. From there, so so to clarify, <coughs> you started under copy the option of when in September. In September, uh, no, November first. November first, November first. Yeah. Trade. Yeah. And how much did you put in? Everything. Everything like uh, when we talked about like, everything. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't a hundred. It was IPA, right? Yeah, because Tom, they how to account your IPA Oh, okay. But it still didn't matter, right? IPA. No. It still mm -hmm. didn't matter. IPA, IPA, it, it didn't matter, right? And yeah. then you see, got that the first week, what happened? The first week, the first week, week, uh, the first week uh, IPA, the new uh, uh, by Friday and that first week, uh, the first week, the first week, the first week, the first week, so from our part in them to pay pie from pay pie them to eat party from the pop on the blow pie okay they from blow party moto go blow pie and from couple of party moto yes then go eat party from the go eat pump to blow to eat party from blow to eat pie 
ก็ปีนะโอเคโซเอ่อว่าสตาร์ดิจิทรีดว่าวอสเดอะเฟิร์สวันอืมอินมาร์ชไอเบสิคลีเทรดเดียวว่าโลแคปสตาร์กลีเ
right? Yeah, I mean, much- Early in, in the year, I was more fundamental. Well, the uh, economy is only down the whatever. The shima tau or look of it, be la mo, uh, mo was by in that or should I tear study just by the day. Basically, everything just uh, got feeling their momentums, uh, technical, uh, to go technical switching, good teaching, or confirm that all the cohort every day. Every tau go, uh, not a good text, uh, um, constantly every five minutes, say, hey. What's going on? Tell me, tell me. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I was more relying on the group than um, the chart because I'm looking at the chart. So sometimes I was lost in the chart. I just asked them and say, help me um, half the time. Right, right. But Zong, like, uh, say Zong, say Tonde Zong. What was going through your mind, right? Mine? Yeah. When, when he At made that time. Mistake? Yeah. I mean, I was just praying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he put he put 49k down. I was like, that day was uh Powell, Powell was going to announce if it, you know the Fed day. And so at 2 p.m. I asked everybody, hey, are you guys all out? And someone said, No, I'm holding through. And that's when I'm just like Holy shit. <laughs> but it worked out fine. So it worked out okay for him. And I think a lot of the other guys held through too. So, uh, you know, we're just glad that it didn't go the other way. But, but it, it, was a, it was a ballsy move. I think mm-hmm. I really hold it, hold it through the, the Fed. But, um, so, so from what I gather, basically what happened was, Nate, so you cut the cut tray, right? So got the ipa ipa ni a lot, right? So then, did you sell? Come on, sell, boy. Come on, sell when it was up, boy. Um, on that day, on the well, well, several days, like how many? Tra- like within that five weeks, how many trade was there? Every day. Oh, every day. Yeah, each day is at least one trade. Each day, and only on on the spy, boy. Only on spy, yes. So how how did you figure? That you were gonna sell or buy that day? Did you, did you sell one day and then say, okay, I want to buy the next day? Is that how you did it, or? What? No, I sell that day. I I buy that day, and or I buy that day and I sell that day. I don't hold it overnight. Wow. So, <laughs> so that you you pretty busy then, yeah. Because yeah, pretty busy like for all the days that I'm I'm sitting right in front of the computer. Yeah. Wow. What was the biggest loss that you had in well, one day? On that uh, Federal Reserve interest rate increase day, let's give you a scenario here that uh, I think that's the entire part. I just shove in there and announce the interest rate, announce the Market go up like crazy now to the bonkia for from Plato Yi Pala to Nang of the Pow. So half the half the value was wiped out it within five minutes. The Shima uh, 15 minutes later, Jenny turned around Kilamoto Pohola. So then from Nanga Plow Pa, the Lamoto Plato Yi Pa, Chicha Pa, I walk to get a cup of water and walk back within two uh, 30 seconds or so. And that's already eighty, ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Seconds. So, what was going through your your mind at that point? Like, man, this is I crazy. Thought my computer was just going to crash and give me a <laughs> fake number. <laughs> man, so pretty much. So, what what happened that day? So, after that, did you did you sell it or did yeah. you hold overnight um, or it went down? down up to a point and then. Um, I just couldn't take it anymore. I said, you know what? It's $101,000. So I'm going to take my sell and then I'm going to win the $100,000, right? But then a um, platform, then a platform, then a new and new more limitation step. The actual final cash value. Uh, and that they get 
sao thầu everything finalized chỉ hai chỉ chỗ ít phải anh man gotcha mm. gotcha so we want to know we know how you made it right and it's yeah. pretty much so how did you get from 40 was it 45 48 48 to 100 pretty much sell by sell by after after hot event of yeah um khai event the nun the going to sell chim by like going hold through this yeah go you at shen zao de go ji li hold this yeah okay so then how did you get from like 50,000 to 100,000 pretty much the same thing we yeah cut your what every day you get chip between there so yeah it wasn't Basically, it wasn't a yeah. big event. And it was a big event on that day that really got me there. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I think uh Tsong, on that day he bought 400 spy puts on that day. Right. 400 contracts put on spy. Man. So so what does that mean, right? So I'm I'm sure most people will be like what is 400 spy puts, right? How much is each each put? Do you guys remember? Um when you had the Jungoli uh uh around the uh idola ta shona idola 1 dollar 20 something like that uh, for one contract. Gotcha. And then you are plow plow for contract they tell you are plow for the plow to pa plow to draw plow to share pa no sure okay so i mean this is like crazy like it's like it's more like the what you want is like it's it's more than like a car right got you there okay good you just just shut it in it's basically got you there okay go your plow for gun to plow for to to see the gun more sim it this is did you did you come up there? Cut on the up or that? Cut your attack on the up And a platform which book a more child up or that? So that's the other hurt. What our Ipo Ipo Ipa, a Tom Watai, so you do Ipa and a cut of more up one day come Mutakala, and they go through the Matakala model up one day. Okay. Oh, wow. So, um, so, so those of you guys just joined, uh, we uh we're talking about uh how this guy took you know i think it was 100 or a thousand he started 100 and then it went to a thousand and then he took a thousand to you know up to 100 and they sold it at 80k so um if you guys have questions comment below uh, how about give him some likes just to say hey man you did an awesome job doing what he that you did uh if you guys have questions uh, there was a few questions. Uh, Zong, uh, they were asking about uh, what's the investors group name called. Uh, can you just oh, kinda... if you search, uh, if you search Facebook, it's just the uh, Hmong Investors Community. Okay, so Hmong Investors Community. If you guys search for that, uh, I think I, I'm in it. There's a few people in there, uh, and they just talk about trading every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, if you guys uh, join, uh, if you guys want to learn more, I mean, we're just talking high level stuff right now because you know this is pretty deep and technical. Uh, uh, let me go through some of these questions here. Uh, so too much. Uh, so some people are, are like, I'm a newbie, like uh, six more here. Uh, super high risk. Some people are confused, right? So if you guys are confused, join, join the group. You know, it's, uh, and you guys don't charge with this, right, Zong? No, no. I mean, you you come and then uh, you know we're starting in the a new uh, 100 to 100k challenge this year. Uh, just come come join us. You know, you start on Robinhood. You start on any broker you want, but I think Robinhood gives you the better chance because there's no fees for uh, you know doing any trade. Um, and what, you, we, you know, <laughs> walk you through it and you know give you some low risk trades. Um, the, the trades that Zong and us went through is is is, is pretty pretty risky. <laughs> but, so so when I'm you sorry. talk about this uh this what is it the game what I forgot what you call it what do you call it game or uh, uh, it's it's basically just uh we do it because we want people to 
be able to try it out for a hundred dollars you know like you put in your own money into your own account and and you try to see if if it's for you i mean uh, you know if you can if you can manage a hundred dollars then you can manage any 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 size account pretty well but the 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 point of this challenge is to learn about risk management pretty much okay and um <clears throat> As far as, I mean, we're talking about just a group, right? You don't have to spend money. You can just go in there and learn too, right? In the yeah, group? You, you can just come and learn. You don't have to, you don't have to actually trade. I think for any new newcomers, they, they should uh, pretty much learn before they start making any, any uh, trades. Okay. Like, uh, Zong, I mean, yeah. he, came, he didn't know anything pretty much. But but uh, yeah, I was pretty pretty much new. I was pretty much new. I request a whole bunch of electronic books from Zong, and he shared, and I just read those books, and just started putting something in. So so, how new are you? Uh, let's just let's just ask. <laughs> well, um, I'm, I was doing paper trade for probably over a year, year and a half, maybe prior to. Uh -huh. um, before that, I was off and on looking at it, eh, whatever kind of thing. Uh -huh. uh, what was it going to? People are crashing their accounts left and right. Am I going to do the same thing, sort of uh, attitude? And then um, um, I was on my own uh, asking a whole bunch of people, and people didn't share. So when you don't have a, a team to share ideas and bounce off each other, you are kind of um, scared to jump in. But um, what I got into um, to me with Zhang was um, I was I was in another group from Ito Dalauna and to Dalauna the Moku include the Hong Kong group, the Shakan group, then very much dead. So one day I post something in there and Jean said that's that's not active anymore. This other one is active. So he so he introduced me to um group or Zhong Yahua Hai Toshadanda. And then from there, I uh, get to know them and ask questions and share share his books. And I, I download uh, the some of the books and read them. And I just start um, having my feet wet in there. Mm -hmm. So OK, great. So uh, there was a question uh, that Dylan said that, is this daily or weekly trades? I think the, uh, Dylan, he was talking about daily trades. <clears throat> so uh, I think Dylan, you trade a little bit too, but he was he was all doing just daily every day we had some um let me clarify that a little bit tao lu pe li mu zhan do lu gao li da ne ma gu qi wo daily trading ne as tie wo ta te the first week like a week and a half of uh, november ne gu qi wo daily trade up um mi ta de wo gu tu account ne chi tao zhan ne gu qi pa ne so ya de ne shi da yi xie bao de that is the magic number me ka de you wait for 90 days and uh, I was not in the position to wait for 90 days so I just did uh, I did okay I do a two weeks well expiration contracts they should move within the, that first week so that was my strategy uh, to buy two weeks long two weeks out and then sell the first week and then just uh, um, any day in the first week if they could feel good at the okay that they could sell us but i have to hold overnight now uh, i have to hold overnight at least yeah. and that was my that was my strategy for the first week week and a half or two weeks um, from there, the heart how one will reach 25k. The I just did day trade, daily trade from there. Gotcha. So, <clears throat> hey, uh, so there there was a question. <laughs> hey, Zong, you might be able to answer this. <laughs> is this a is this one of those payment scheme stuff? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! This is not a payment scheme. <laughs> um, anything like that? It's free to join. It's free to you know just come. Uh, you know, just come join us. You know, you don't have to invest any money if you don't. But you come; it's free to learn, free to, you know, 
ask questions. We'll, you know, there's a lot of guys there that will help you. You know, if you have any questions, even new questions, you know, we're all willing to help. So everybody's got the same goal, and, and that is to improve what uh, we were uh, better than yesterday. So just keep improving everybody. Right, right. So, like, uh, that was one of the questions I, ha I had on, on email was that, is this legal? What, what is it, what is it doing? Is it legal? And, and you know, this is, this is your, your trading in the, the U.S. stock market, right? Yeah. So this is perfectly legal, legal, right? Yeah, it's perfectly legal. I mean, everybody, you, you know, everybody trades. Uh, you know, the, you don't have to trade the way we do. We have a lot of guys that do different things, you know. Uh, we have Powell, he does a lot of dividends and, and, and you know, uh, different companies will have different yields. And so you have any questions, you know, you come to him and he, he'll he tell you what uh, he's he's investing in and what his companies, what kind of yields his companies are giving, giving to him, you know. Uh, we have saying he does a lot of Forex. Um, he does long term Forex. So his trades are like six you know a few weeks to you know a whole year so, so gotcha yeah, yeah so the, the group is a bunch of a bunch of investors with different trading strategies uh me i come from a more momentum trading style and so mine's a little bit you got to be a little bit uh you know like a blackjack player <laughs> so you, gotta have a family, you know you gotta have a face you know to, to actually because mines are pretty scary so gotcha yeah. so that's fine for me anything goes because jean say jump i jump <laughs> with <laughs> 10 times his i mean you know the, <laughs> i know i call the trades but you, you also give me the heart attack too <laughs> <laughs> when you're going all in so, so mm -hmm. So let me jump in. So guys, you know, there's 35 view viewers, you know, I know there's a few questions in there. You know, you guys are watching, uh, you know, comment below what questions you guys have, because, you know, I mean, it seems like it's easy, but, you know, I'm sure it's not. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I've done it and I haven't made any money. He made it sound like easy. Uh, I think we should be asking Zong if he has got any trade for us. <laughs> for tomorrow <laughs> okay. we're, we're all watching spy right now so okay the good old spy yeah, yeah so, so, so we're, we're coming to near a point where it's 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 either gonna fall back or it, it you know we get some news that pushes it pretty much up but um I come in tomorrow you know you can join our chat uh i think if you're new it's 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 tough because it takes a long time to figure out what the strategy, your strategy is. Not everybody's gonna have the same strategy, but if you just hang in there, I mean, don't, you know, do paper trade, uh, try not to, you know, put yourself in a risk of situation where you, you blow up an account, but uh, just keep going. And until you find your strategy, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. I mean, Zone, Zone came in, he was new, but, um, when he got his hundred dollar account to 300 and he started asking questions i'm like you f you feel that he's gonna make it because he did the research you know you have to put in the time or to learn this and to find a strategy or else you know you you're not you're just gonna be trading blindly right right so uh there was a question um uh what books do you guys you both recommend uh don't do you have a book that you're reading right now i would recommend this book anyone should have this book i have this <laughs> book right by my desk so chart patterns huh? so you're so it looks like you're 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 now a technical trader now is that correct well um with every day you don't know what's going on you don't know how the economy is like i gotta be on a technical side nowadays when everything slows down and everything is back to normal, then I will probably on the fundamental side more. Gotcha. And okay. If you guys join the, the group, the, the Facebook group, Mong Investors Community, uh, in the file section, there's a link to where there's a ton of books that you can read for free. I mean, it's not. Yeah. 
I would highly recommend those too. And I download every single one of those that Zhang uh, shared. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, is this how it is among investors community, Zhang? Among investors community, right? You just go to that Facebook and type in among investors community, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm just going through here. So uh, let me look at some of the questions. I mean, anybody else on Facebook? If you have any questions, go ahead and comment. Those of you guys joined, this guy took a uh, hundred dollars and flipped it over to about 80k this year. So you know, I'm sure if you don't have any questions, you know, you should be, you should have some questions. Like, how did he do it? Um, uh, one of the question was, if I had to change, if you know, Zong, if if you had to change something, what would you change? Well, I had to change. Um, there are a couple of things that I have changed already. One is I changed the trading platform to something that I feel I would be it would be a little, a little bit more responsive, and allow me to do uh, 400, 500 contracts. Um, when the account gets up to like forty, fifty thousand dollars, because you know, um, I like to, I like to win. I like to, I like to be the first one who get to, to hundred k this year again. Um, mm -hmm. I also like to change my exiting strategy. In other words, I like to be able to learn how to manage my risk, and uh, leverage that risk to a winning trade more so than losing trades. And I, th I think that uh, to enter the trade is the easy part. To exit the trade and make uh, a losing to a winning trade is the hardest for me. Uh, and I am still trying to understand how that works at this point. OK. Uh, there was another question. It says, is it possible to make this a full-time job? Personally, for me, if I were to have my account up to like 100K or 200K, I would do this full time. Okay. No doubt about it. <laughs> gotcha. Um, Zong, did you have a book, Zong? I know I, admit, I, I think I skipped you. Did, you. did you have a book that you keep up with? Um, you mean uh, our book? Uh, our oh, that, you, that you oh, literally. I think the two books um, I like are the. You gotta read the intelligent investor. Any investor has to read the intelligent investor. I have that book too, by the way. <laughs> I mean, that is probably about more than ninety percent of the people are are going to be that type of investor. So you want to find your you want to find value companies. You want to find products that you like and invest in those companies for the long term. I think trading is 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 a little bit. Uh, more on the wild side or you know more risky side but if anybody wants to trade i think you 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 got to build up your portfolio don't put you know don't trade more than 10 percent of your portfolio and no more than one percent of your portfolio at a time in one trade uh zone is is an exception <laughs> <laughs> we, we teach risk management i think uh i think i think you know he, he started with 100 bucks so he's he's just gonna go you know you know win or lose he's taking it you know gotcha but i think i think that it takes that kind of uh risk once in a while if, if you really want to to hit it big and keep on doing this if you don't take any risk then you you, you know you you're not gonna you know you're not gonna get out from where you are so all right so so this question came up right <clears throat> and i and it's there's kind of brings me to something, right? So so he's saying that is this like an all in, all out, you know, no offense, me, right? Yeah. Right. Me, so yeah. so <laughs> yeah, so can you explain that? Cause it 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 sounds like you did go all in. And what was your mentality around that? Cause that's that's what I want to dig into. And I, I think we can end on this question. Uh, for me, like I said earlier, my risk is a hundred dollars and my risk is from march to december those, those are my those are my risks and if i were to lose anything i lose 100 dollars out of my cash 
uh, out of my pocket and I lose nine months. That's all that I, lo I would lose. Um, mm -hmm. So what I did was that um, every time I do a trade, it's basically all in. And when I see the exit or when I feel like I'm going to drop off the face of the earth, I'm all out again. Um, basically run in, run out, that's it. Um, but I know that it's very risky. I know that if I were to have 100 or 200K and doing this full time, I will never ever do that. I will probably split to 10% or less per trade. Um, and if I were to lose to the most, if I were to lose everything on that trade would be 10% of the entire portfolio. Uh, and I can gain that back um, given time. Um, but um, um, yeah, for this one, hundred dollars to uh, $100,000 challenge, I all in and all out. Even this year, 2019, we start the new challenge. I am still all in and all out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, Zon, did you have something to say about that? Since you're his mentor? <laughs> I, mean, you know, I, I could tell you, you know, that <laughs> a little risk management is, is, is going to, um, Help you in the long term. I mean, if right now you're just your low everything, it's 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 a it's a little bit risky. But I mean, you control your trades. You're gonna make your trades, and we're gonna try to help you be successful as possible. But uh, I think that's something we should work on uh, next year. A little risk management, at least on the on your on your on the bigger account, and not on the challenge account. Challenge account, you're still stuck with you know moving 100 back to 100K, but um, I think on the big account, we'll, we'll probably work on a little bit of, of risk management for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, so like, I, I have the same thought as that, uh, you know, so, I mean, I would go all in because, you know, like from what I, <clears throat> I mean, this is my opinion, it's like, you know, if you diversify, you might not make as much money because you're kind of you're, you're ruling out your risk, you know. You're, um, but if you go all in like what you know, uh, what he's doing, it's you know it's you make you make more money that way. So that's kind of what he did, and now you know he's got the show for. So and, and and besides, I only have one trade to look. I don't have ten trades to go after. And so if I'm all in, all I do is just focus on that one trade and that's it. Exactly. Because, because I tell people like, if you focus, if you spend more time on something, you, you will be successful doing that. And that's kind of what you did because you threw all your money into one stock and focus all your energy on that particular stock, you know, and there you go. I mean, that's kind of how, when you told me about it, I, I kind of knew your, your trading strategy, uh, that's kind of how I figured how you would make it. And now you're explaining it and that kind of makes sense, you know? So uh, depending on whoever's listening, it, it's up to you guys on how you trade, but this is how he's traded and he's made so much money within five weeks, you know? So um, let me see if there's anything else on here. Uh, do you get any last words, uh, Zong? Um, you know, you guys just come Come and join us in the the Hmong investors community. Uh, you know, it's you know you don't have to trade, you don't have to spend any money, but um, you know you can ask questions, learn, and you know maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. Um, it's not for everybody, but you know if it's something that you want to try and you want to learn about, then you know you're you're welcome to come. Um, you know, it's free. You know, it just requires your time. So. Yeah, guys, it's it's free. It's legal. There's no pyramid screen uh, scheme going on, and you're learning how to trade just like regular, you know, brokers, right? Or not brokers or whatever investors that are trading mm -hmm. in, a, in yeah. a regular stock market. Yeah. Um, so, how about you? Any last words? Um, I think that if you are someone who already knew a little bit about it. Um, I would go ahead and start opening up a brokerage account, but to do paper trade um, for a good period of time before you put any money into it. 
uh, if you want to risk $100, like me and like the rest of us who are doing challenge, and do the challenge, then, you know, that'll be fine. But if you have like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and you're pretty new, I probably will not recommend it. Um, for me, as I said earlier, I have done paper trade over a year, year and a half, two years maybe, before I even uh, get to meet Zhang to begin with, and then and then start this uh, $100 challenge last year in 2018. So um, I would certainly recommend that first. Uh, and if you are basically brand new to the market and you absolutely have no idea, then I would certainly get some books, um, talk to someone who know um, or join us in here. And some of us will share our experiences with you and we will uh, share our favorite books with you and um, do what we can to help you out before you lose any penny out there. <laughs> gotcha. So uh, one last thing, what are you gonna do with all that money? Well, I like to grow it. I like to grow it up to a point where I can just do this full time. And hopefully that account and also this $100 challenge account combined. Um, and if I have luck on my side in 2019, uh, I might be in your show again soon. I can just do this full time. And hopefully <laughs> that account and also this $100 challenge account combined. Um, and if I have luck on my 19, uh, I might be in your show again. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks like we're getting feedback here, but that's fine. So mm -hmm. um, that's it, guys. Uh, those of you guys join, appreciate you guys joining. Um, Zong. Zong, hey, thanks for joining. Um, guys, you. join the group. It's free. It's not a scheme. It's not, it's not, you know, we're here. This, you know, we do the show so we can help, you know, make the home community, you know, smarter, make show you guys how to make money. And these guys are willing to help you and teach you on how to trade stocks, options, you know, uh, as I was talking about, I think Forex and stuff like that. You know, join the group. They're willing to teach you for free. You know, some some of these mentors charge like five thousand just to teach these kind of stuff. So, uh, I encourage you guys to just join. You know, ask questions. You know, don't sit at home and watch TV. So, uh, that's all I have. So, you know, anybody, you know, uh, since this show talks about money, if any of you guys have any people you guys want me to interview, let me know and uh, tag me on the tag them on the comments below and then uh, I'll go ahead and try to reach out to them and we can interview them. but uh, guys thanks for uh, giving us your info you know and, and hopefully we get uh, to help you know more people down the road all right no problem. <laughs> all right all right guys appreciate it uh, everybody keep hustling see you later bye